guys welcome back to my channel if you are seeing me like i'm sorry that i look like this so i'm actually doing my first vlog today now bearing in mind like i've literally just woken up it is 11 six minutes past 11 oh my god it feels so weird now so for those that don't know before i go into this actual video i got a camera like oh my god i'm greasy i'm just a mess i've got like an overnight cream you know those anti-aging ones do they work i don't know um so i did actually pick up a canon G7X Mark II, I think it's called. Actually filming on this bad boy today, and I'm telling you, I'm so flipping excited. Excuse the bags. I have, when I mean like this is unfiltered, I have literally just woken up. I was like, last night I'm gonna wake up, first thing I'm gonna do is pick up my camera. But yeah, um, I am gonna vlog today. I'm not gonna talk too much because I know people are a bit like skeptical about like. Or a bit funny with long intros but yeah i'm gonna do a vlog today i'm gonna basically do everything in my life that i do normally you know how like sometimes people just put in their like vlogs like the massive days that they go out and go to events like honestly no i've got nothing to do today i've got a little bit of filming to do um a little bit of tidying up and so forth so come along with me um let's see what my actual life is like as an influencer because that is my job but yeah i'm going to be doing these vlogs a lot like when i go out when i don't go out so yeah this is number one i'm sleeping here with my dog right now i don't know if that is in focus but anywho um i've got to get used to this camera because i've literally had it two days look at these bags oh my god oh my god i got eye bogies so come along with me today let me know also put a massive thumbs up for this intro this intro has been super duper long hasn't it um so yeah it'd be it's a nice change compared to like my makeup videos my fashion videos so yeah so i'm in my dressing gown currently i've just gone to the toilet um i am with this guy right here marley marley he doesn't like the camera at all like he absolutely hates it the dog doesn't like the camera or oh, is it focused i don't know how to work this um my dog doesn't like the camera at all so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna make a cup of coffee this is my like my filming setup over here it is a tip um yeah so we're gonna meet be um i get a cup of coffee I'm out, I'm out of breath i don't know why i'm out of breath it's gonna be like my normal friday plan is actually like I do all my work, like my filming and whatnot, and send it over to my management. I do my editing, and then um, I go when my mum gets home from like work. We go swimming, but times have changed today because I am going to my partner's for the weekend. Oh my god, those bags are real. Those is it focusing? Yes, yeah, bags are real. I've got eye bogies still. Hannah, sort yourself out. I'm going to my boyfriend's this weekend because they're moving into their new, back into their old house. Long story. Um, so I'm helping those guys out why is my i've just realized that my camera's like tilted but that's great really i would go swimming with my mum like late evening around eight o'clock but i'm not gonna have this vlog up that late because it is going up the same day so i'm probably gonna do it to about four or five because that is literally most of my day like the other times i'm just relaxing i don't do do much so yeah i'm just gonna take you throughout my day but um i've got a spot there but yeah, I'm going to do these regularly. So if you can comment down in the description what type of vlogs you'd like from me. Or event ones. Or just, I don't know. Because I don't drive. Like, I live in London. And London's a bit silly to be driving. Not that it's terrible. But I live literally central London. So me driving is pointless. So I just take the tube. Because everywhere I go, there's a tube anyway. You guys are seeing the real tea of my skin and my bags in the morning it's awful but let's go and make a cup of coffee so i'm just having a instant coffee sorry if you can hear in the background i've just put the dryer on for a wash um but yeah i'm just having like an instant coffee because my nescafe one run out like the double chalk mocha i think it was called it was on offer in like morrison's for like one pound something so i thought i'll grab them but yeah i do like my instant coffee in the morning um so i'm that type of girl that i like my little fluffy socks in the morning and obviously it's not going to focus and my cup of coffee i'm just going to go into my living room have a little sit down normally i'll have my breakfast right in the morning um but i don't there's nothing to eat right now because it's friday like in my household no one cooks on the friday so people will cook throughout the week no one cooks on the friday because normally like the people in my house go to their girlfriends or i go to my partners for example or my mum just stays at home with my dog and she does her own thing like we each have like pizzas or something do you know what i mean like throughout the week we have really healthy meals and then on the friday we just eat what we want sort of thing um but yeah like i've got a few things in there that i'll probably put on the, in the oven but like i don't really like frozen food that much like maybe the odd time like i feel like frozen food's a kids thing like when you come home from school and you're like oh i can't bother to cook for the kids just put frozen food on like but um 
yeah so i'm gonna have this coffee i might have some like beans on toast or something i'm telling you now like i'm so, i know i'm gonna be so busy today well the content i'm gonna create today is actually two eyeshadow looks so how i like to work out my content is say for example um i do so let's say for example if we start from monday monday and tuesday will be two eyeshadow looks wednesday will be like a full face or a skincare or a fashion um thursday and friday will be eyeshadow and then um like it would depend on how the week fluctuates it could either be two at the end of like a full face or one eyeshadow and like an extra eyeshadow look or somehow but it works out either way or like i do a paid post or whatnot so yeah like i've got loads of content coming up like fresh new content and whatnot i've got quite a few paid jobs coming up which is great uh, because my opinion doesn't change like it's the exact same video um to like other videos that i do like you know like the full face videos on instagram it's the exact same but it's just paid for like i've got to make my money somehow sort of thing so yeah um i'm looking outside i don't know if you guys can see let me show you outside i'm gonna go out and get like it's just so pretty yes i don't know if you can focus but that's just so nice i love it like, i'm thinking i might get breakfast in a moment i'm just gonna have my coffee i take my medication in the morning and then i will get back to you probably when i'm watching a netflix program because where i work at home i literally watch netflix programs all day every day and i go through things so quickly let me know oh let me know some netflix suggestions i've just currently finished watching glitch which is about like the seven people that rise from the dead it goes off scale like season three like what was the point but yeah like the first season was sick and then the rest of it was just i knew you know when you could just predict what it's going to turn into so yeah um that's that and then i'll get back to you in a moment just been rummaging on instagram doing little bits and bobs um so i i was like i was trying to figure out how to work my camera and things like that you know like you redoing settings and so forth so i bought this little adapter one of my close friends of mine who are on instagram as well um she recommended me getting this like i know this is like the new hot thing now where like you can connect it to like your i um like your a macbook or whatnot to transfer over files for like your sd card so like with me i don't like using laptops so i bought um, my mum actually got me this for my birthday because my birthday is next month i just got an ipad um i love editing these for um like using these for editing so i use my iMovie like i said on my instagram but i also love to use this app right here which is called inshot um i've not actually done the whole setup thing yet but yeah these two apps this is sort of like final cut pro but the not final cut pro at the same time like you can add transitions stickers little bits and things like that like you know like when you want like your background to look different or things like that and you want to put like these crazy funky transitions they're not like gimmicky they look really professional um something like like you can get them from like final cut pro they do them on here um yeah so i just used my iMovie and yeah i used i did for the first three videos that i showed you this morning of what my day's been like i transferred them over to my ipad just so i've got a bit more storage because i have two sd cards the first sd card is the one that came with this camera right here so the first sd card i have is the 32 or 30 something gigabyte you guys probably know it came with this camera i got this camera from Kyrie's pc world um i was just looking at like deals and whatnot like they had one on amazon um but i was like oh yeah like like it came with like an sd card and a tripod but it was a little bit more expensive like it was a lot more expensive and then i bought this one from pc um curry's we were picked up from car phone warehouse and it was like really cheap it was like 400 pounds and you got the camera the sd card and the tripod and the tripod itself is really expensive it's a really good tripod um but then i thought oh like black friday like obviously today is black friday so they were doing sales on amazon a few days ago so i just picked up my friend recommended this to me she's probably not watching but hi samina you recommended this to me the sandisk extreme pro 28 gigabyte um i got the micro one but obviously it comes with the adapter so i bought that and then obviously i bought this now i know everyone says to me like oh like you should get the apple one because with the apple one it won't like glitch but then i find it does like even with chargers like I'm guessing most charger companies, like, you know, like, the actual USB wire for, like, the charging cable, most of them are all gimmicky anyway, and so is Apple. Like, I've never found a good Apple charger in my life. Um, I think they all come from the same place, really, don't you think? Um, so, yeah, I just thought this was $7.99 compared to the Apple one, which is, like, £27. It looks the same. It feels the same. I know they say it can corrupt your files after a while, but I'm just using this temporarily until I can be bothered to get the Apple one. Just, I like to use gimmick stuff before I, use, before I get the real deal. That's just my 
for you anyway. Um, but yeah, so I picked up the SD card as well. So I've literally just been transferring over the files, getting a little rummage through Instagram, and talking to my management. I've been watching um, some, like, I've been trying to look for, like, a decent program on Netflix to watch, but... I don't know, I feel I've watched everything, like literally anything you guys are probably going to list in the comments if you are, I've probably watched it already. But yeah, my next plan of the day is probably to get washed. I'm going to show you my morning routine. I, I think everyone wants to see that, like I get questions every day, what do you use in the morning or what do you use at night? And so I can't show you my night one, but I will definitely show you my morning routine. So I'll pop my camera up in a little while, I'll clean my face, I'll put my moisturiser, we'll, we'll go through the whole shebang and I'll do a little chatty little thing with you so it's like two videos in one because i know you guys would really really enjoy that i've put some food in the oven that i'm going to take out in a moment create some like nice is it brush um but so i'll make like burgery type things um for lunch or like breakfast lunch and then luckily like my eyeshadow videos don't take long at all which is really really nice they don't take long so it's like quickly i could just create an eyeshadow look i've got a few palettes that i want to use today so that's handy but i'm really getting the hang of this vlog thing like i feel you know when you watch normal other people's vlogs like if they're just getting into it they normally just do fragments in terms of like they'll wake up and then 30 seconds later into the vlog they're at Sainsbury's and it's like well what did you do between then I don't know if that's just me but yeah I'm literally showing you everything unless I start doing something new from from the last clip I just continued doing what I was last doing sort of thing so from here I'm just gonna be in bed watching Netflix and then the next clip you'll see is whatever I'm like eating or whatnot so I really really enjoy picking up the camera I think it's different because normally with my Instagram um like normally with my normally with my iPhone when I record on my iPhone um that's everything that I record on my iPhone XS but like everything that I record on my iPhone I can't like halfway through filming look on my iPhone then but now like I can sort of thing so like if I want to check up on something if I want to do questionnaires I can now because I've got a camera so yeah, I am getting used to it if anyone can give me like any tips and tricks on like cameras and things like that then please I would be so grateful um but yeah I think I put it on my friend told me to put it on auto and I've put it on auto for the time being because I want to see what it's like when I do my filming so so I've been doing like some shopping like I've been on Missy Epa because it is Black Friday today. But doing some shopping and I'm like, oh, I love these jeans. Now, if you remember my last Missy Empire haul, I did get the wrong size. I've got these jeans because these jeans have got no give in them. I got them in a size 10. Stupid me, I should have got them in a size 12. Because I'm not that I'm not big at all. Like I'm not I my body is like my legs and my hips are like a size 10, and then my waist is like a size six to eight, which is weird, but like I have to get a 12 just to balance it all out. I love these jeans. I'm debating because I'm like, for Black Friday, I don't know if that, that, that price, that £21, has been like that for weeks. And I'm just debating, do I get it or not? But these sell out all the time. And there was also this other jumper that I really, really liked. Let me show you. Like, I really wanted this jumper. Um, but I don't know. Like, I actually don't know. Like, I just don't know. I like it. I'm a mess, but I'm blessed. Like, it's just me in a jumper. If you get what I mean. Like, it really is me. But... I don't know. So for my lunch, I've got like these four sliced brush, is it brush? Buns. Um, these are so nice. You know what I really like about these like type of things that you get from like these shops? They're cut for you. Like, cause if I was to cut this, it'd just be a whole mess. But yeah. Um, I also got some baby spinach to also have. I love my spinach. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna do it together. Obviously I've got meat, I've got some chicken to put in these. But yeah, I'm so hungry. Like, I'm so, so hungry. But look at this little one. Hello. He's scared of the camera. Like, I know you guys are so excited to see him in the camera, but he's absolutely terrified of it. Hello, Bubby. Oh, okay. <laughs> Molly, do you want a treat? Do you want a treat? Come on in. Let's get a treat. Is there anything for you, Bubby? I don't know. Oh, he's all run out of his treats. He has his little treats, he's his food bowls, and he has his little treats in there, but they're all finished. So that needs to go in the recycling, doesn't it? That needs to go in the recycling. Yeah. So this is my masterpiece. These are chicken dippers. These are so nice. I did burn them a little bit, but a few of these will go to my dog because he absolutely loves them. But, hello. Here you go. So yeah, like these are my little little masterpieces. They're really cute. So yeah, I'm gonna eat these now and then I'll get back to you. 
so I have just gotten home from going out with my dog. He's there. Um, See, so yeah, I've just gotten home. Oh, I'm not focused. Yes, yeah, so I've just gotten home from being out with the dog. I didn't take him out for too long because he's been really tired the past couple of days. I haven't slept well, which went because he sleeps with me in my bed. If I don't sleep well, he doesn't. So he's been really tired. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wash my hair, um, get in the shower, uh, and then we're going to do my little skincare routine for the day because my skin needs it like it actually needs it like obviously the other night i went out for the sleek event i went to sleep i went for dinner with sleep makeup and i got absolutely smashed so not absolutely smashed but i got drunk slightly drunk um so that meant now my skin is saying no to the alcohol my lips are super dry my ex was playing up so yeah i am loving the quality of this camera anywho yeah so that's what we're gonna do now i'm gonna wash my hair i'm gonna show you what i do when i wash my hair like with the products i use um do a hair treatment for like curly hair do my skincare routine and then i'll be back okay so i have just washed my hair um I'm, i've got it in this turby this is the s and i hair turby i don't know if you can see it's the greatest invention like hair invention ever i personally think especially if you've got curly hair if you've got long hair and the drying time is like really long this like just cuts the drying down uh, what this just cuts the drying time down dramatically my personal opinion and also um it stops it helps me to prevent frizz in my hair because my hair's curly gets a lot of frizz i have just received some pr i was midway through showering and the postman knocked so i had to literally run out of the shower and go and open the door to the postman and um, i do have a little bits and bobs like so colourpop sent let me focus so colourpop sent me i think i know what this is and i'm really excited for it the lippy oh my god is these the lippies no oh my god i'm so excited this is like christmas come early like, i feel like colourpop of oh okay in love in love okay this is the dream come true um i've seen this on um instagram and i'm like okay i want these now i'm so glad i've got these so glad um i've seen them and i thought oh no because you know with colourpop pr the weird thing with them is, is that sometimes they give you some pr and they don't give you all of it which is fine um i was so glad i got this because i thought oh my god if i don't get it i'm going to be gutted some of these probably shades i'm never going to use so they're going to go in a giveaway but i am just excited to use these these look absolutely stunning like oh my god that focus is sick um so yeah Okay, so I have washed my face already. As I said to you, I'm using the SNI Hair Turby. My room is a mess right now. This is like my setup. So I just want to go in and talk about a few of the products, like my morning routine. So I did actually do a peel today. I'll go into that in a moment. But um, I did cleanse my face this morning in the bathroom using this fresh soy face cleanser. Um, this is such, such, such a nice cleanser. I absolutely love this cleanser. Great cleanser. I've used this a few times and I'm like, crap, I forgot to put moisturizer on just because of how amazing the actual thing is I cleanse my face with this and i'm like i don't even need a moisturizer but obviously you do i'm gonna use this peel now you don't need this just because this is flipping expensive and this was gifted to me so was the cleanser but i will end up purchasing this again o optra yeah optra instant renewal peeling gel this is what it looks like i don't know how the, well the camera is going to pick this up but yeah this i think is like 125 pounds i'm not too sure um this gently smooths away impurities and boosts radiance now i have tried this on my arm before like literally the woman that showed me it she swatched it on my not swatched it but she started to rub it into my arm and it started to peel not peel the skin of things it didn't hurt or anything like that it didn't feel like anything it just looked like little white beads that it started to peel but it was the top layer of like all the impurities and the dirt and you could tell once she'd rubbed it off we looked at the cotton pad the cotton pad was filthy she went yeah it's just like your day of worth of sweat and griminess and ugh so yeah it was just on my wrist here and then my wrist felt super super duper smooth afterwards so yeah i just used a pump or two of this all over the face and i just made sure i focused on like my chin area my t-zone and my forehead you'll find your oily areas are the areas that exfoliate a little bit more you get a little bit more um like beadiness and things like that just because those areas are more oily i'm going with eye cream i was debating to use the glam glow bright eyes this one right here or i was going to use the you know the origins ginseng one the ginseng one this is what it looks like will it focus i don't know will it focus there we go take a little bit of this underneath my eyes 
as so. Just looking in my, um, I'm not looking in the viewfinder, I'm actually looking in the mirror that's attached to my ring light. So, I'm sorry if the lighting's really, really bad. This is my first ever video using this camera and I thought I'm going to go in the deep end. If it ends up being terrible, then obviously we can adjust the settings in the future. Um, isn't it getting dark so quickly? It's like three o'clock now and only the and the sun's starting to set already. It's like, it's ridiculous. I, um, this is another one that's quite expensive, but I, I'm going to be honest, luxury skincare does the job for me. And I don't mean that in an arrogant way. I'm saying like I've used a lot of skincare and a lot of like drugstore products just don't work. Some do, don't get me wrong, loads do, but these ones don't. So this is the WHB squared, um, what's this called? This is the Power Duo Face Serum. I'm scared to finish this. Um, a brand did sent me to me, I can't remember what brand, it's like a PR agency. So you go in with step one first and then step two. So we're gonna go in with those first. Just gonna use this. And I try to avoid sometimes applying the serums to my oily areas, just because, I don't know, like I like to just put niacinamide in my areas like that. Like I'm just using the outer perimeters on my face because they get really dry and the dry patches end up aging me. And so yeah, I try to avoid that. And I like to push my skin upwards just so, you know, we have that whole anti-aging, anti-wrinkle vibe. I'm only 20, well I'm 20 next month, but anywho. Then we're going with step two. I don't know too, too much about what this does, but this has changed my skin, like, so much, and I mean in a good way. Like, this has really helped my skin to perform a lot better. I think this is Korean skincare, and Korean skincare is absolutely amazing. So, yeah, I definitely, definitely recommend that. I'm just rubbing that into my skin. I'm going to use another serum. I'm going to use this one by Good Molecules. Is this going to focus at all? This probably isn't gonna, f yeah, there we go. Um, this one's by Good Molecules. This is the Niacinamide Serum. Now, Niacinamide's great for like refining the skin, like shrinking pores, helping the pores, cleaning out the pores, helping with breakouts. So I literally just take a tiny amount on my T-zone area, because I know the Revolution one do one. I don't know the prices of these, but I know the Revolution do one, which I have used for the, since it since it first came out. I purchased it, and it's been amazing. So yeah, these are great, like niacinamide, salicylic acid, zinc. They're all great for like breakouts, oily spots, um, blackheads. So they these are a great alternative. I like to use niacinamide more at night, just in case it has those like features where your skin is quite exposed, but. I don't really mind anyway, like my skin's never really had any problems. My skin is glowing, which is really, really nice. And lastly, we're gonna put a moisturizer on. The ginseng, is it ginseng or ginseng or ginseng? I don't know. Um, oh my God, I'm actually so getting used to this camera. Oh my God, I'm loving it. I thought I was gonna be one of those people that hate the idea of a camera, but now I'm looking, I'm like, yes. I'm gonna use my phone for like my eyeshadow video just because it's easier for now. Um, but yeah, this one's such a nice moisturiser. I get why everyone raved about the Origins range. Like, I was one of those girls. Do you, I don't know if you, any of you guys were watch, um, remembered when Origins had that, like, something like £20 off sale. And they, they it was like a, it was like a, um, it was a glitch where, like, instead of it being 20% off or something like that, it was like £20 off and loads of people were putting orders in. I did, and obviously it all got cancelled. I think a few people got their orders, but, um... Yeah, mine got cancelled. I was gutted because I thought, oh, I always wanted to try something from Origins, and now I have. Um, I got this little set on look fantastic. So now I'm going to go into my hair. I'm going to tell you all about my hair in a moment. I'm just going to go grab the products that I use to wash my hair. None of these things are sponsored anyway. This is just me chatting to you guys about my products and things. My products, the products that I use. So I'll be back in just a second. So now actually on to... Um, hair i am going to put these products in a moment i'm just going to show you what i've been washing my hair with so i washed and shampooed my hair with these two products right here which i've been using uh, this is the second time i've used these and i'm telling you like i know people say give shampoos a chance like you've got to give them quite a while these ones all of a sudden have like actually made my hair feel amazing and now my hair's really difficult to do that because my hair's curly and it's dry my scalp just gets super dry quick it gets super flaky my hair just feels matted and horrible um but these two right here these are from the shea moisture range so this here is the manuka honey and yogurt um hydrate and repair shampoo and this one here's the red palm oil and cocoa butter high slip detangling shampoo with flaxseed oil these two right here these are really really nice they're very watery i don't know if you guys can tell they're very runny you only need a little bit and they do the actual job i love 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 these to go with that i also have the conditioner 
for both of each and I leave this in like I never rinse out my conditioner I don't see the point maybe for you if yeah depending on your hair type but for my hair type it defeats the purpose if I take out the conditioner so these are the conditioners for them with this in a moment which is the bumble and bumble curl defining cream this is really really nice this is just like a curling cream which I love I'm gonna take my hair out whoa what is that I look like an actual mess um oh before oh my god I look like my mum um so before I actually go and brush my hair I actually use this wet brush this is the best hair brush that doesn't like it detangles your hair it doesn't pull on your hair at all even when my hair is dry I use this it doesn't pull on anything it has that mixture it has like different two types of thicknesses on the ends which is really really nice so my hair is wet but it's in that damp stage where it's like most of the actual water has been removed from my hair which is good because when I go out obviously it's not very good to wear not really good to have wet hair outside but um it's because I want my hair to go curly while I'm out obviously while it's wet now it looks but you can see the curls in a sense my hair smells so good from that shampoo and conditioner i love when you come out of the shower in the morning your hair just feels and smells amazing just like that or a tiny bit a little bit more than a tiny bit and i just like to scrunch and pull it through my hair like my hair will just do like you know when like obviously people put hairspray in their hair it doesn't work for my hair my hair will just go the way it wants to go and most of the time it's the way i actually like it um I do, I have these two other products that I'm going to use in a minute because sometimes I find it quite difficult getting to the back of my hair, like right back here. Also using this from Shea Moisture, this is their, this is the Hydrate Repair Multi Action Leave-In like spray. I think I love, love, love this. I mainly try to use this at the back of my hair. This really helps with the curls as well. Like honestly, I just go ham with this. For some reason, like I've used this like four times now and it doesn't seem to want to go down which is really really nice because I know Shea Moisture can be a little bit like it's affordable but then at the same time it's not affordable if you get what I mean um but I always love it in Superdrug when they do like the deals or something like that so that's always worth your while worth your while worth I don't know worthwhile what's the saying but yeah I don't like to do too much of my hair just because when you start putting too much product in there my hair starts to like sink or like starts to fall sorry sink um, it starts to fall. So that's basically everything I do for my hair. It's probably going to dry in a few hours now. I am probably going to wash up, which I'm going to show you in a moment. And then I'll probably end this vlog just because it's getting quite late. And I'm going to wait for my family to come home. So, yeah. Okay, so I've currently just done the washing up, as you guys can see. Um, I'm probably going to end this vlog here just because, like I said, I'm going to go off, do some editing now, which I'm going to edit this video to put up. Um, I have a cheeky little giveaway on my Instagram, which will be going up at 5pm, so it's probably already up already. So go and check that out. You can win some cute little goodies from me. I already have another giveaway up already, but I thought I've collabed with a brand, so it's not paid or anything. Um... So yeah, go check that out. It's in well, probably be on my it's already on my Instagram, I think. But yeah, um, I'm gonna go off, wait for my family to get home, probably have some dinner, or I'm probably gonna go out with my partner and have some dinner. But yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely weekend. I'm probably not gonna put out a post on Sunday just because I don't know. I, I don't think I'll be home in time. If I'm home early on <clears throat> Sunday, then I'll definitely post. But if not, then I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My first ever vlog. I hope it was like somewhat interesting. This is literally so not filtered. Nothing's changed in my daily life. I've done nothing new, nothing different. So yeah, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see more of these. Like when I go out, when I can see like put some friends in there. Um, go with my mum, go with my dog. Um, do some work like I'll probably show you like how I film and how I do my normal filming and things like that so yeah please let me know what you'd like in the description and I can't wait to start this journey on my YouTube even though like I've been doing YouTube for quite a while now I really really want to start growing and bringing out more content and vlogs for you guys so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video like I've said I love all of you please if you're new here I'd love if you could subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on when I post you guys will probably get sick to death of me how is all I need to get my brows done. <laughs> I'll get the boyfriend to do that because he does my brows anyway. Um, Marley is down here. 
Hello, what have you done to that bowl there? Anywho, yeah, I love all of you guys. Thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a massive thumbs up, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.